Hi. I'm going to try something new today. I thought I figured something out here at home and it made sense to maybe make a proper video with, you know, what I've learned. Uh, what I've learned is how to get audio at the same time as recording video. And I'm a bit of a dummy. I didn't realize I could use my mixer because Apple, MacBooks, awesome stuff. So at any rate, we're going to talk about things like the MIDI fighter. I'm also going to talk about the naked boards that I have here too because it has sliders. This way we just kind of talk about two different types of things. Uh, not the common things like a keyboard controller, like uh, the Arturia Keystep 37 that I prefer, or even the BeatStep Pro, which I really like that a lot too for specifics or even just, you know, I feel like using that style controller. But they can also do something very specific in common especially when we talk about the Bebo product. So PolyFX recently put out the 3.2 beta, which is phenomenal. I mean, simply put, there are so many things to say about it. That's for different videos. But that being said, one of the newer things is that we can actually do USB MIDI. So I'm actually going to use the MIDI fighter via USB. And I'm gonna to switch to the other camera in just a moment to do that. And it's uh, also true that the naked boards would work the same way. And fun fact, the naked boards is MIDI type B, if that matters to you. It has the little eighth inch out. And I have one of the early Bebo's which has the type B MIDI for eighth inch. So I'm always mindful of when I can find a controllers that, that do that and maybe do a few other things. So I'm just gonna switch over to the other camera and I'll see you there. All right, so for starters, over here, we have the Bebo ready to go. There's no patch, and I'm bumping into things. Sorry about that. So we're just going to take the simplifier out the way. It can, it can stay here, but it can't stay there. And as you can see, the MIDI fighter, it's plugged in via USB right here and uh, we have the majority of it on camera I'm just gonna take the naked boards out of the way so roll my chair out the way too this is a, a standing affair now okay so you know take it from the top the way I have my patch base set up is that I'm going to actually let's see I'm gonna use the diggy tone for this example get just a nice basic synth so I'm going to go out from that and I'm going to go into the Bebo the way that I've been doing things like this and I have a mixer that's off to the side there yeah you can see me point that way so it's off to the side there and I'll have Bebo coming out from that but here is the diggy tone for the moment and simply put we're going to hear more of that after but just to prove the point, it's the same tone coming through the Bebo. So we'll come back to that. Let's just do a quick patch, something that we can do some MIDI learn to, as well as some encoder action and just have some fun with it. So something real easy that we can start with that won't get too complicated. Let's go into the time stretch module. Let's just set that up real quick. So. We'll just let that go full stereo, you know, no issues. I have things set up as a stereo setup anyway, so we should be able to hear the goodness. All right, so let's go into here for a second. As you can see that we have just the basic module. We haven't done anything yet. We have the MIDI fighter here, so we can do a few different things. Uh, just to keep it simple, if I hit the blend control and then just turn the encoder, you'll see it took effect right away. No issue. So, I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, that was microseconds. It, it, there's, you know, no difficulty. So let's just go down the list here. So we're going to do diffusion. We'll do feedback. Let's do pitch. 
but I do want to leave that at zero for now. And one thing that's really cool is that the encoders are pretty, pretty fine, usually. But I'm just going to give this a touch right there. Okay. And then also position, reverb. Just going down the list, no surprises. And I'm going to put my filter on the bottom here because I don't plan to use that too much. So I just kind of want to keep that out the way. And then something I want to point out is the MIDI fighter, which similar to some other controllers and including, you know, um, the beat steps out there, you can do some, some different modes. This has a up down push kind of functionality. So I like to mention that that's a really cool aspect for MIDI learn. The only downside is for the moment, we have a, to do a workaround to get that to work with the granular module. If you notice, the freeze does not have a built-in MIDI control. So I'm just going to get out of this for a second. And I think an easy way to do this would just be simply put, put in a left foot switch. And I'm just going to go foot switch A to the time stretch, value out because it's going to end up being a 0 to 1 to make the freeze ultimately be an on off and we're going to have it be latching 0 to 1 and let's make that happen so I hit MIDI learn hmm. let's see what happens there oh that's going to be interesting I might have screwed up at any rate, <laughs> let's see what happens. Well, nothing on screen for the second, so I guess I'll come back to that. I think I screwed up, so I'll probably end up deleting that. All right, well, whatever. We get to learn something together on video. Okay. the blend control we have it to a hundred percent right away there's no natural diggy tone let's add something else and see here's some more of that fun this we're gonna get a step more clever here so just to put something out there let's see all right go to MIDI note to CV all right so we're gonna go MIDI in we're gonna go out to there we'll go to pitch come on And then let's see where do we put the gate? Come on. I would probably do it on a VCA, but we'll do it for trigger here just to see what happens. Because I forget offhand. And then I just have to go to the diggy tone for a second. Let me just make sure. Mm, let's see. Yep. 
Okay. So we might have something really cool. Let's see what happens. Um, give me a second there. Sometimes clever takes a second. line after all. So let's take that out for the second. Let's freeze something. And if you notice, the frozen line is now moving. But I shut off the MIDI control there for the second. a little bit of fun with the MIDI control there and I just want to make sure I show also how easy it is with something like a slider type situation so that you know some of you out there who use fader foxes and other awesome things like that that I just don't have here uh, let's plug it in so it's as simple as this we're gonna take the MIDI fighter just take that USB and then you know I don't think the Bebo group will mind the placement of the naked boards for the minute. So same idea. Take the blend. Actually, we're going to delete this module so that we don't screw something up. I want to make sure I don't have to do too much editing later. So it is going to be as simple as this. I'm just going to put that back in. We'll leave out the MIDI stuff for the minute because it's not that important. Okay. So go back into there. And we now have the naked board controller. As you can see, I'm not doing anything, you know, no assignments. Everything's at zero. So from here, go into the blend, go into diffusion. Yeah, you know, we'll just go down the list. Go to feedback. I'm gonna leave pitch alone. I'm learning. So number four is position. Number five will be reverb. number six size and I'm gonna leave spread alone I'm gonna leave slider eight blank for the second so all right same idea let's get the diggy tone going <laughs>
as you can see it's pretty pretty slick it's easy just it does what it's supposed to do pretty much right away I, I you know I don't really have any troubleshooting to offer except make sure that you have cables handy uh, good luck to you